Hey, hey, everyone, and welcome to Happenings at the Heights, our weekly show where we let you know what's going on here at Southport Heights Christian Church. My name is Derek. This is my friend Michelle, and we are excited to be with you once again for Happenings at the Heights. Well, Michelle, the weather's turning. It's it's almost April. It's beautiful outside. It's really pretty today. I remember last week you came in, and it was like a monsoon. It was. It was. <laughs> today is just super windy. I, one of our dogs almost went flying across the backyard earlier with a big gust of wind, so I think here. Oh. In a couple more weeks, it'll just be perfect. Yeah, it'll be great. We'll just get it all this figured out. Yes. It'll be nice. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. This is for the week of April the 3rd. 2022. And on April the 3rd, we are starting a brand new sermon series called The Weekend. Now, it sounds like, you know, how to party, how to have a good time. Mm -hmm. It's actually about the weekend where Jesus gave the ultimate sacrifice. So for the next three weeks, we're going to cover Good Friday. We're going to talk about the Saturday between Good Friday and Easter, which a lot of people don't talk about, but it's one of those times where I think the disciples were like, well, that was it. You know, they're coming for us now. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, the third uh, Sunday, we'll be covering Easter, which will be on Easter Sunday. So uh, make sure to come check it out the weekend, which should be an awesome time. And speaking of Easter, we got Easter coming up. It's going to be a great weekend. So, Michelle, why don't you tell us uh, what's going to happen that weekend? Yes. Yeah, so we have a lot planned that weekend, mm-hmm. which is super, super exciting. So on that Friday, which will be Good Friday, mm-hmm. which is April the 15th, mm-hmm. we have a Good Friday service that's going to be at 6 p.m., mm-hmm. so feel free to join us for that. That uh, would be lovely to see all uh, of your beautiful faces there. <laughs> the next Saturday morning, which is the 16th, we have Easter at the Heights event, mm. uh, which is going to be at 10 a.m., uh, this is, there is so much planning that is going into this and it's going to be such a fun event. Um, if you would like to volunteer with us with that, that would be awesome. We could also use your help in other ways with sending out these little posters here. They're out in the lobby. If you want to grab a couple, pass the word on to your friends, you know, people with children that would love to come and, and really celebrate that event with us. I think it's going to be so much fun. Absolutely. And and if you're watching this and you don't uh, attend Southport Heights, but you'd like to come to the event, just go to southportheights.church slash Easter at the Heights, and you can register. It's for kids ages fifth grade and below. We have separate uh, Easter egg hunts. We've got candy. We've got all kinds of good stuff. So we'd love to see you there. Just visit that website and you can register and it's going to be a great time. It's going to be so much fun. We can't wait to see everybody there. Absolutely. And then, of course, the final big event mm-hmm. uh, for that weekend is going to be our Easter Sunday uh, service, which is going to be at the normal time of 1030. That mm-hmm. is on April the 17th. But we want to invite you earlier to come mm-hmm. to the cafe. Yes, yes. Which is here where we're taping. Uh-huh. And we're going to have some really fun things that morning as well at the cafe. So Absolutely. that opens at 9 a.m. Mm-hmm. So feel free to come early and enjoy the beautiful cafe that we have set up here and then also the sermon afterwards. Yes, definitely. Yes. So uh, we got a lot of stuff uh, going on that weekend. So make sure you make plans to join us. Um, speaking of other stuff happening in April, we've got our Keenagers Dinner. If you are 55 and older or you know somebody that is, we'd love to invite you to the Keenagers Dinner. This is a great time for those folks to eat, to share together, have some good fellowship. It's happening April 12th at 5.30 p.m. If you'd like to come, just send an email to rsvp at southportheights.org. I'll put it on the screen here so everybody can see it. And uh, just put teenagers in the subject line and how many folks you would like to bring. Um, you can register by April 10th. That would really help us make sure we have enough food. Now, the other thing we're doing right now, we just started uh, this coming Sunday on the 3rd. It'll be the first thing. We're doing partnering with a group called um, what's it called? Changing footprints? footprints. That's what it is. Yes. Changing footprints. I'm like, uh, think of the feet. <laughs> uh, and they are collecting shoes for Ukraine. So we made a little video and we want to show you that right now. Hey everybody, it's Derek and I'm here with Scott and Kathy from the group Changing Footprints. And we've got something great coming up. So first we're going to start. Scott, why don't you tell us a little, what is Changing Footprints? Sure. Uh, Changing Footprints was started in 2005 by a lady who was watching a national news program and saw how kids in other countries were having problems with their feet and having to walk around with nothing on them. And she thought, you know what, that would be a great mission for us to start. So they started doing things out of their garages 
and eventually it ended up being a 501c3 all volunteer nonprofit organization here in Indy, based in Indiana. We have five sorting sites around the state and basically what we do is we collect anything that fits on people's feet and we sort them, clean them, and then send them back out to people who need them locally around the United States and all over the world. Wow, that is awesome. Uh, such a, a interesting way to like, I see this, I'm gonna do something about it. And so she Absolutely. got involved. So here at the church, uh, we have this collection bin and we're actually gonna start collecting shoes and we've got a very specific reason why we're collecting them now. So what are you guys gonna do with the ones that we bring here to the church? Right, no, normally what we do is, you know, there is such a need for shoes and a lot of people take something like that for granted, sure. that they have shoes. And for the people who don't have them, it is a blessing that is unbelievable. So what we're doing right now is we're saving shoes for people in Ukraine. And you know, everybody knows what's gone on and happened in that country and how desperately in need they are. Mm -hmm. We get the shoes and we use other organizations that are sending clothing and shoes and food to the Ukraine, and that's how the shoes are gonna get there. That is awesome. So we have a goal. I think we've talked anywhere between 250 to 300. We would love that many pair of shoes to come in and send them off. So you're looking for gently used or new shoes, is that correct? Right, new or gently used shoes in good condition. You know, we really want them to go back on the feet of people who need them. And if the shoes are good enough for you to wear, then we'll send them back out to other people. We don't want anything that has a lot of holes in it sure. or really dirty. We will clean them, but we prefer in really good working condition. Yeah, absolutely. So you can bring those in. You can donate them right here in the lobby. Just uh, drop them off at this uh, uh, destination here and they will come. They'll take care of them. They'll ship them off. It's an easy way to help somebody in need uh, across the world. So uh, we really are excited about this opportunity. We're gonna be collecting these through the month of April. So you can bring your shoes, uh, whether they're kids shoes, adult shoes, whatever you got, bring them in. We're really excited about it. So Kathy Scott, thanks so much Absolutely. for being here. Absolutely, you're Thank welcome. You. And uh, here is our motto, changing the world two feet at a time. Two feet at a time. <laughs> I like it. All right, so bring in your shoes and let's change the world two feet at a time. Thank you. Thank you. So if you would like to uh, help support the Shoes for Ukraine, there is, as you saw, there's going to be a collection bin out in the lobby. Just bring your gently used or new shoes. Make sure they don't have holes in them, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, gently used new shoes, bring them, dump them in there, and it's going to be an awesome time to ship those shoes overseas and help the people out. Um, also, we are collecting shoes at Easter at the Heights, so mm -hmm. you can bring your shoes to that as well. We're collecting all April, so go ahead and bring your shoes in. I'm sure lots of people have shoes. I was thinking about it. I have tennis shoes at home. I bought some new tennis shoes because the old shoes were, they were not, you know, bad, but I just wanted some more, yeah. you know, uh, comfort. And I was like, oh, these are still in really good shape. Yeah. I bet somebody could use them. Yeah, so. I'm sure all of us have yeah. sets of shoes, pairs of shoes oh, at home. Yeah, that we definitely. could probably get. I'm like, how many do I, out. I think I wear two pairs of shoes. Like that's, yeah, <laughs> that's all really the rest it. are just decoration for the closet. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> so true. Decoration for the closet. Yeah. My goodness. All right. Well, Michelle, I found a joke this week. It's in honor of people like you who are nurses. Uh, my wife is also a nurse, yes. so I'm sure she'll really appreciate this. Yeah. Uh, so let me give you the joke for this week. Here we go. <clears throat> Why do nurses like red crayons? Red crayons. Mm -hmm. Because they have to draw blood. Very good. Very good. Yes. <laughs> uh, every nurse is like, oh, jeez. <laughs> Especially my wife. She's probably like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, goodness, guys. Hey, we're having a good time, and we'd love to invite you to join us every Sunday at 1030 a.m., um, both online and here in person. And like Michelle said earlier, if you come early, the cafe opens at 9. You can get yourself a cup of coffee and a Long's Donut. Mm, mm. Mwah, so good. And most importantly, you can come and share and make a connection with somebody. That's really what's most important, Absolutely. what this is all about. 
Um, you can follow us on Facebook, guys. Hopefully you're watching this on Facebook. If you have any questions or thoughts or anything like that, you want to give me that thumbs up for the joke, let me know in the comments below, and we'll have a good time just sharing, talking, all that good stuff. All right. I think that's all I got for this week. Any other thoughts, Michelle? Not really, no. No other no, thoughts, it's huh? It's the first. It's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. Well, we always have a good time. I hope you guys had a good time today. And wherever you are and whatever's going on, I hope you're having a blessed week. For Michelle, my name is Derek, and we'll see you guys next time right here on Happenings at the Heights.